Hey guys, it's Matt Tippett here from Elite Triathlon Performance Australia. Today I'm here with a fantastic guest, it's Alex Palizzi. G'day Alex. G'day, how you doing Matt? Good mate. Alex, um, for you guys that don't know him, is an elite adventure racer. I wanted to take a few moments and um, introduce Alex and talk a little about his background um, and obviously what he's doing at the moment and his goals, just so you can get inside the head of someone who's a little bit different to what we normally do. So, your background's in swimming, mate. Yep. Tell us a little bit about it. It is. I swam for many years, um, starting off as a, what you call a grom out in the surf and eventually moving up to national level swimming. Um, yep. So, yeah. And what stroke were you? I was a 200 meter butterfly back in the day, so d a challenging stroke, but yep. definitely very rewarding. So you were a national finalist? I was a national finalist uh, in age group, um, so yeah, that was great. Fantastic. So swimming's a little bit different to adventure racing, a little bit more on and off, like you're either on in the water um, mm. or you're off, so it's, it's, uh, it's a quite a hard sport, pretty anaerobic I'd imagine. Yeah, look, it's it's been a great transition. Swimming was is something where you're on for at most a few minutes at a time. Mm. To obviously what I do now, where I'm on for hours at a time. Which yeah. is a big change. Do you think um, swimming sculpted you much in terms of the way you race and the way you go about training and managing yourself? Um, yeah, swimming has greatly adjusted in and made me the athlete I am because I got so used to being t racing at full performance all the time. I generally have, all, I try to still do that. I push hard and I don't like to relent in the pressure I put down. I'm sure your competitors are aware of that, mate, and uh, <laughs> have been at the, uh, the wrong end of your, um, your fight a few times before. Yeah, look, um, we, d we do race hard and my competitors, uh, appreciate that this is the way I go about it. They work hard along with me, but I, for example, in Marysville, I managed to finish second, and that was by putting the pressure the whole way down right till I hit that finish line. Yeah, nice. And a few push ups at the finish line, too, I think. Yeah, you've always got to have a great finish, and <laughs> a few push ups generally get the crowd behind you, which yeah. is great. Nice. So, for those that don't know about adventure racing, I mean, what would you say, I guess, that encapsulates adventure racing? Adventure racing is a sport where uh, you're taking out of your element because you're going out into the bush. We're not on the bitumen. Um, you get to push your limits, for example, in abseiling, uh, ocean kayaking. It's not your typical run up and down the street. So it's a very much a sport where you push your boundaries a little further. Nice, okay. It's fair to say that um, in Australia at the moment, um, you're up there? Um, yeah, it is fair to say that. Um, I've managed to obviously get a few key results um, from being at Freysnay, uh, which is Australian Multisport Championships, to Mary's where I finished second. Um, this isn't the first year, the previous years I've finished third, so I have managed to collect quite a few results. Yeah, nice, nice. Um, so without giving away too much to the audience, um, you're in, I guess, what we would call a developmental phase maybe in your training? Yeah, um, this year obviously I've, ha I've come off the back of some big racing. It's time to recoup, rebuild the muscles that I have worked so hard for the year and I believe it is important to develop these muscles and stay strong in all areas nice. um, or you do break down very easily so it's a point in my um, year where it is very important for me to rebuild. Yeah, nice. And, and in terms of how that's happening and the, and the things that you're doing, what would you think you know, I guess the, the most important thing that you're finding now, why you're trying to develop this stuff and, and work on your body? Um, I'm trying to work on this now. Being obviously of a fairly early stage in my career, it's a good time to get everything working in one direction. So as I continue to progress into the future, I've got it all behind me and that there is gonna be no weak stage. Yeah. Um, at any given point. Nice. So I, I hear you're working heavily with um, a few people in the ETPA broader network and 
Um, by that, I'm, I'm talking about physio health, and in particular, polydar. If you're spending a lot of time on your mechanics and looking at your, your power and the way muscles work, um, how are you finding that? Because I'd imagine that's pretty unique for you being a, a hardcore adventure racer, going back to the science and going, you know what, it might just be about moving your leg differently or, you know? Yeah, very much so. Um, look, coming from where I am, I haven't generally done much through the general movement and how things operate. It's always been get the casing, do it hard and work hard. But the change by working with Polly has helped like for example um, my running we're just tidying up my stride so I'm not collapsing on it and I find I've got more movement through my hips and I can generally hold at a stronger point these days yeah which is is a good evolution in a short period of time yeah you're obviously a very articulate and smart young man um tell us a little bit about the the next five years for you what's going to happen mate well, at this stage, um, for the next five years, I've gen- I'll generally slowly build up into the career. I'm not, I've always tried to push hard and get the results early, and that's not going to change. But I do set the goals of obviously racing in world champs and finishing on that podium. Um, it's a desire, it's a hunger, and I really do plan to achieve it within those years. So we can expect some, some big things in the next five years from Alex Polizzi? Yeah, definitely. Um, I'll definitely push and put all everything I've got behind it all. Great. Well, you've heard it from the man himself, Alex. Thank you very Thanks much. Very much, much fella. So, for more information, log on to www.etpa.com.au or ETPA TV. Um, we'll be bringing a series of uh, interviews like this to you of our elite athletes. Um, look forward to talking to you again. I'm Matt Tippett. Thanks a lot. Cheers.